Welcome to Watch of the Week here on K-Spec. This is a series of brief reviews and previews of recently introduced timepieces. It's not a commercial, so you will hear my unfiltered reaction, my unfiltered opinion. And our guest in this week is... In a video where I discovered micro brands from viewers, I've came across Laurier the first time and I saw their Neptune series. Attractive colors, classy design in a way a vintage car is classy. Perfect size, price almost okay. And so really a good find. And my pronunciation of Laurier is French, which is correct despite the fact that the company is located in the United States, New York City. Behind the brand is the couple Lorenzo and Lauren Ortega. And they say, our aim is to democratize well-built, beautiful watches, reviving the classic designs and the intrepid spirit of vintage timepieces. And Lorenzo and Lauren have clearly realized that it's helpful to do this with very small editions of watches, so that there is a constant shortage, a sold-out flag after days or even hours. And fans of the brand have predicted that the new Hyperion GMT will be sold out after minutes. And in fact, I'm recording this Sunday the 22nd. The watch was online yesterday for the first time and now it's sold out. And so the predictions were correct. But they stayed more arriving in the next few weeks. And so this is our reason to go over the basics here. We have an automatic watch, steel case, diameter is 39 millimeters, height is 11, length overall is 47 millimeters, and the lug width is 20. Inside ticks is Soprot, Soprot C125 automatic movement, independent GMT hand, and this Soprot, by the way, is a Swiss made because Soprot is part of the Festina group. And the next feature is a roulette date wheel, odd dates in black, even dates in red. And it comes with a 48 click bi-directional bezel, Bacchelite-esque, they say, because it's plexi, the same material they use for the crystal. Screw down crown, Super Luminova on the dial, our minute and second hands, and C3 on bezel and GMT hand. And it comes on a bracelet with micro adjustment and solid end links. And the watch will be again available in different colors, a version with gold and one with silver. And by the way, note those all traveling documents. Brutal how they play with our yearning for that look, right? Overall, amazing package. Um, people might complain that you see some Tudor and even more clearly Omega DNA here. I mean, look at the hands. But we have to face the fact that Rolex, Tudor and Omega have set design standards. And often the standards follow a function. Look at the indices, for example. You cannot change them without spoiling the usability of the watch. Even the GMT bezel in blue and red follows a function, day and night. And so I don't want to be too critic about that. And for my personal taste, the hands are not the optimum, too dominant, but other people like exactly that. And what I absolutely love is the combination of gold and this off-white. Just nice together with the dial color. And I also love the dimensions. 39 millimeters case diameter is just sweet, especially together with this case form. You find this slender form on many vintage watches and it's just a pleasure to wear. This roulette date wheel, on the other hand, doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why should the second day be red and the third then black? I don't know, I simply don't know. And some people online said that the logo is too dominant and I don't think that at all. On the contrary, it's an example how to bring basic information on the dial without ruining the design. And by the way, this is a type of watch which could look even better a bit over polished. People will hate me for that, but sometimes new watches look a bit too new. I mean, sharp edges, grainy textures like the brushed case here. And so I think this watch after a round with a good polisher could be really, really nice. Price. I think it might worth it. 800 US dollars is competitive if you compare this watch to other products with similar features. At least it comes with a Swiss movement and not with the often seen Miota. But if you live in Europe, then keep in mind that VIT is not included here. But good news is that 800 US dollars right now are 674 euros. Sounds better, right? And so my conclusion here, great watch. I love it. But this limited, limited, limited bugs me, to be, to be honest. Brands play with a human disposition, which makes rare things more desirable than they are. And so congratulations for the lucky ones who grabbed one watch here and happy hunting to all the others. But keep in mind, the watch has the hype in the name. Okay, that's all for now. See you next Monday to Watch of the Week here on Caseback.